Uh, Vice-Chancellor, members of the court, distinguished guests, and fellow wizards. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dr. McConville, for those very, very kind words. Um, well, Look who it is there. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm absolutely amazed, shocked, stunned, delighted, overwhelmed, honoured and indeed humbled by this award. Particularly since I've read in a certain Glasgow evening newspaper that Bobby the barman was receiving an honorary doctor today. <laughs> and I thought, really? Because he said nothing to me and I know him pretty well. <laughs> But mind you, he was at Glastonbury last weekend with Kylie Minogue as well. He never told me anything about that. So it's a lovely surprise to actually find out it's me. Thank you so much. This truly does mean a lot to me. Uh, my heart is full. It particularly means a lot as I'm not used to being in the hallowed halls of academia. I have little or no qualifications and have neither completed nor coped very well when it came to formal education. Uh, I never had the belief or confidence and consequently felt like a bit of a failure or a loser when it came to further education. But in the words of one of my great teachers, failure a great teacher is. Yes. <laughs> Wise words from a galaxy far, far away. From the great Jedi Master himself, Yoda, Vice-Chancellor. And I think that is incredibly true. Failure and life isn't easy, and I'm sure some of your journeys to where you are today haven't been easy. All the more reason you should be immensely proud of yourselves, and so should your families today. My journey has been very different. I have bumbled and stumbled and have so many people to thank for where I am. My partner Lindsay for her support and never-ending kindness, generosity and selflessness, and strength through such adversity. Claire, my stage wife, <laughs> thank you for looking after me and putting up with my nonsense over the years. And both Claire and her partner, John, who I love dearly, for being truly the best friends I could ever ask for. <coughs> and someone who couldn't be here, unfortunately, I would like to thank my wee rescue dog, Bob, who continues to astound and teach me with his positive, joyful vibrancy for life after so much rejection, upheaval and pain. He amazes me that a friendly or more positive wee furry fella you couldn't wish to meet. So I'm looking forward to licks and furry cuddles later. <laughs> but I'd like to particularly take this opportunity to thank my late father for introducing me to art, literature, music, self-education and self-improvement. Mr. McGeechan, my first librarian, who introduced me to further reading the debating society and allowed me to have more books than I was actually meant to have. <laughs> Something that a lot of librarians in Glasgow still allow me to do to this day. These were the gifts that I had to learn, dream, escape to other worlds and educate myself and why I will always support my local library. I must then thank Giles Havergale, Philip Price and Robert Dave MacDonald of the Glasgow Citizens Theatre for allowing those dreams to come true, expanding my education by giving me my theatrical life, my darlings, and my new career path. And of course my hero, David Bowie, for being my constant North Star and teaching me that all and everything is possible. You are not alone and it is okay to be different. However, most importantly, I'd like to thank my granny, my dear grandmother, who taught and showed me the ways of basic moral decency, to have strong beliefs but not be dogmatic, and most importantly, to appreciate and respect strong women. However, probably her best piece of advice and her wisest words that I will impart to you today is, Always wear a clean pair of pants when you go every day. Because <laughs> you might get hit with a bus, son. <laughs> and uh, 
I have taken that advice today. I won't show you, but I have. I, how clean they are now, I don't know, because standing in front of 11,000 people in the hydro is a lot easier than this. <laughs> but I am so proud to stand here and be part of the GCU family. Something that people don't probably realise, that I was first associated with GCU in 1994, when I did a corporate video playing a student, taking everyone on a tour around the campus. And now, over 25 late years later, I've graduated. <laughs> but you really have earned your stripes today. I, on the other hand, am a flipper to gibbet, a fly-by-night dream weaver, a superficial satellite celebrity, which means nothing compared to what you have achieved and earned today. Having said that, I was in Millport in Isla Cumbria last week and I bought a bag of chips and I got a sausage for free. <laughs> so fame does have its benefits. <laughs> I was, also, uh, <laughs> I was also once given an all-day ticket from a bus driver when I was on my way to a still game screening, which meant that when I got out of the screening after 10pm, I had the freedom to travel the whole of the city of Glasgow by bus until midnight. <laughs> oh yes, something that you mere mortals can only dream about. <laughs> But still, this pales into insignificance when compared to your own achievements today. So who am I to dare to feel that I'm in a position to give you any personal advice? Someone who has not studied in academia and makes a career out of pretending? All I can say is that up here and in here are not for rent. They must be looked after and protected. But I will leave you with the last piece of advice from a dear friend whom I love and admire, Mr. Jim Haynes. I could speak all day about Jim, his life achievements and what he means to me, but I urge you to simply Google him when you leave here. He's quite an extraordinary man. In his 85 years, he holds the most wise, beautiful and simple advice for us all. When you do something nice for someone, Forget it immediately. When someone does something nice for you, always remember. I will always remember today. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.